The quest for a big deer is a journey that challenges us to become the best we can be. We watch our dreams grow as we put in effort 365 days a year, praying for the chance to one day hold the reward. So I am Sydney Bame. Um, I am Don Higgins' niece. Um, so I'm actually from Southern Illinois, but currently I'm living in Kansas. Of all my nieces and nephews, I probably have more in common with Sydney than any of them. Um, anytime we get together for family gatherings, her and I are always talking about livestock or deer hunting or whatever. I started bow hunting probably about three or four years ago. Uncle Don helped me get my bow and everything and um, helped me get set up and has taught me the fundamentals of that. She had said that she was, she'd been deer hunting but hadn't seen much all season and um, I'd already shot uh, you know, a couple of deer and um, had plenty of bucks on my place and I thought, well, I can, I can show her a deer pretty easy. So I invited her out and it just so happened that this was a really cold spell in November during the rut. So it was cold and I'm a little person so I get cold easily anyway as I'm never warm. And uh, we're sitting there overlooking this plot of real world soybeans. And uh, I looked down the way and I seen a deer feeding, but it had its head down and, and I couldn't tell if it was a buck or a doe. It was probably a hundred yards from us actually. And then it raised its head and, and Sid says, that's a buck. And, and I got my binoculars out and I, I can tell, yeah, that was a pretty good one. I see how wide he is and um, he was pretty much up and straight out and wide and super pretty and looked right at me and my heart, I've never felt my heart beat so fast in my entire life. I just got the shakes, like I've heard people talk about the shakes, but I never had them. So these are my first experiences. Oh, I was losing my mind, just trying to get an arrow notched and Uncle Todd is trying to get the camera ready and the camera shaking everywhere. And we, we sat there and the deer you know, slowly worked its way towards uh, where we was waiting in the blind, uh, fed along the uh, in the soybeans right towards us and it, it comes up and in range and you know I tell Sid get ready uh, and she's standing up in the blind she's got her release on the string and she's ready to pull back and this buck cuts across right in front of us broadside and stops and and I'll, I'm filming you know I've got the, the video camera on this buck and and uh, I can hear Sid right beside me and catch her out of the corner of my eye she couldn't get her bow back she was sitting there struggling and <laughs> I was so nervous and cold and bundled up, I couldn't get my bow pulled back. And I was so embarrassed and heartbroken because I knew that this deer was just gonna bolt away and I was just gonna probably end up hating my life for the rest of the day. Um, but I tried to pull my bow back, I'm pretty sure I pulled it back once and then I was too weak and it let loose once. <laughs> um, but then I was like, you know what? He's still standing there, he's still looking at me. If I don't pull back one more time, I'm gonna hate myself. So I'm turning, I, I don't know whether to keep filming this buck or to turn or to set the camera down and help her get the string back. And um, finally she, she pointed it towards the sky and she got her back and she settled down. So I focused back on the deer. And I thought as I'm, as I'm sitting there filming, I'm thinking there's no way she's hitting this deer. She can barely get the bow back. And there's no way she's gonna hit it. I'm thinking, I'm, get, I'm getting ready to film this arrow sail three feet over this buck's back. So I pulled back one more time and I put my pin on him, put it right behind his shoulder and I just let it loose. because was, He was looking right at me and he was gonna bust me probably, so I just let it loose. I, I hear release the, the arrow and, and, and I see that buck duck and I heard the arrow hit home so I knew she hit it. And he took off on a death run down along the edge of the soybeans and he cut back into the real world switchgrass and uh, I could see him running through that switchgrass for a little bit and then it just stopped. And I thought he piled up right there. When I finally realized that he's, he's out there in that switchgrass and he's down, I was ready to get back out there. I was like, when are we going out? When are we going out? When are we going out? And Uncle Don's like, give it some time. <laughs> it was pretty gratifying to, to see her shoot her first buck. It's been a good day. <laughs> the best food plots, the best bedding cover, the best mineral, the best feed. At Real World, we do what it takes to be the very best.